that's a fan film. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. If you are a Batman fan, hit that subscribe button. We talk Batman and more on this channel all the time. And we're looking to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And to all of our new subscribers, thank you so much. Over the last couple of days, I got a bunch of DMs and emails saying I gotta watch this Batman Beyond fan film from Loomis Entertainment. And so I finally had the time to sit down and check it out. And it's 13 minutes and it's Batman Beyond. And Batman Beyond, let me tell you, has had this run of should it be made into a feature film? Should it be like Spider-Verse films? Should it be a live action film? People seem to love Batman Beyond, but do enough people love Batman Beyond to justify it getting the big screen treatment? As of this recording, 392,000 people would say yes, as that's how many views this fan film has. And I, like I said, I had a chance to watch it and I was stunned. I thought this thing was stunning. It, it was a Kickstarter. I missed the boat on this Kickstarter a year ago or so, whenever it was. I didn't know about it. I wish I did because I would have been all over this. This is fantastic. It looks, it's like Blade Runner, but meets Batman. It's Gotham Blade Runner. It kind of, honestly, it has the Reeves vs. Gotham, but in like the future. It was like kind of I was kind of like, okay, this kind of feels like it connects. Batman's costume was, that one didn't look like it's fit into the research, but it, like it was Batman Beyond, like the Batman Beyond costume hit right there. We had, you have the Royal Flush gang and you have Melanie as, as your kind of antagonist, but Melanie might not be. She's with Harry McGinnis, who's played by Ryan Potter from Titans, who does a fantastic job as Terry McGinnis, as Batman in this one, in his communication with Batman over the headset, it's year one, so he's kind of learning the ropes, seeing what's going on, not quite understanding uh, what he should do versus what he wants to do. And it, and I thought the dynamic that he played with him and with old Bruce Wayne, I thought that was fantastic. I was like, I wanted more of it. When it ended, I was kind of like, oh, crap. <laughs> it's done. I wanted more. I thought this was a lot of fun. It felt, you know, it felt very action-y. Uh, it was incredibly well made and you understood the world that it was in. I thought in the short amount of time that they had, the world building I thought was fantastic. We got to see, like I said, the relationships that Terry McGinnis has with Bruce Wayne and how he's the mentor, but you know, as a young adult, you don't quite always re respect or understand or appreciate the knowledge that they're trying to give you. I thought the design, the production design, like I said, that Blade Runner look that it has, the feel, the bat costume, the batarang. So there's a batarang sequence that was just my, I was just like all in on that. I'm like, this is awesome. This looks so good. I thought it was a lot of fun. And for a fan film, for people to spend, you know, well, Kickstarter hard earned on me, but their own hard earned money, their own time to do something that, you know, isn't officially licensed at all that, you know, could you know, they, they're not, I'm sure this video is not monetized in any respect, but it was just a lot of fun to see. And I really appreciate the hard work and dedication that brought into it. That being said, if you haven't checked out Holy Christmas Batman by my friend Brian over on YouTube, you got to check that out. I'll put the link for that and Batman Beyond Year One in the description down below. Check those two out. Give them all the support you can, because these are people who are just passionate about an IP, about a story they want to tell and they put it out there for all of us to watch and enjoy. And in this case, you know, they really did a great job, I thought. I, 13 minutes long, not too long, not too short. It kind of just float. I'm like, this. if this was a part of like a YouTube series, I'd be back every week to watch it. Or, you know, if they threw it all down at once, I'd watch it either way too. But if, they, if it was weekly, I would totally watch it. I liked everything about it. I thought the acting was really good. The effects were phenomenal. Like, it was just great. There's lighting in like the, the, the Gotham City the lighting on the leather jacket, it just the way that it sh was shining on it, it just, I was like flabbergasted almost that they were able to accomplish this on whatever their budget was. I haven't looked at the Kickstarter because I'm so devastated that I missed it. I might go on and see if I can, but you know, next time I'll be, uh, next time I'll be up to it. I swear I will. I'll, I'll, I'm going to have to live on Kickstarter. But yeah, if you haven't had a chance to check out Batman Beyond Year One, do so. Link in the description down below. Absolutely fun ride for all Batman fans, for Batman Beyond fans especially. I think what this shows is Batman Beyond can work in a live action, but also I think the IP of Batman Beyond is alive and well. And hopefully one day soon we'll get it to do in the cinemas. Of course, with the new DC and whatnot, maybe that won't. Maybe that'll be later. But of course, if you do a movie and it takes place years and years and years and years down the road, you can get away with it, I suppose. If it fits in with where Bruce slash Batman ends up in James Gunn's mind. We'll find out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you've seen it, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I appreciate it. I read them and reply to all the... Thanks for watching, everybody. May you be the master of your own universe.